This is Steve Ditko, guys. Breaking news. I wanted to share this with you. Uh, it was just sent to me. This is the last photo that was ever taken of him fairly recently. Um, I want to give full credit to Atomic Supermen. Uh, I believe that's the guy's name, or Supep Men. Um, and I also want to greatly thank uh, Jason uh, Chawala for uh, sharing this. Uh, guys, don't repost this or anything like that. Um, you know, again, we're, we're not making any money off this or anything. I'm just sharing it with you. Um, but it's too risky that someone else might. So um, you'd have to get permission from the copyright holder. And, um, you know, I'm not sure how to get you guys in touch other than uh, what it's listed there. But I did want to share this with you to let you know that um, as I had described him, uh, gosh, I guess it was in March or April of uh, 2017 when I first met him. Um, this is exactly the way he looked, uh, except he was wearing a, town, a tan uh, um, a coat and uh, suit. Um, really wonderful. Um, I, you know, not, not to say anything, but I, I know that, um, you know, like he, he needed some work done on the teeth, some teeth were missing. Um, but otherwise super well dressed, uh, his hand was in a brace when I saw him. So this has to be either right before or right after. Um, and I'll show you guys some other, uh, terrific photos, but I just wanted you guys to see that, you know, when I, when I first met him at 89 years old, I mean, he was looking super dapper. Um, I know that supposedly there's a bunch of uncashed checks from Marvel uh, that I guess he never cashed. And um, this is a lovely painting that uh, the original was featured at the Society of Illustrators in New York City. Uh, I'm not sure who, who painted it, but it was a, a painting of Steve Ditko. And for those who didn't know, Steve Ditko, of course, is the co-creator of Spider-Man, Doctor Strange, and a whole slew of other incredible superhero characters. Uh, just an amazing, amazing, talented creator, comic book artist, and story plotter. Uh, Stanley did give him credit, um, apparently reluctantly, this is what they, they rumor, but um, they did, he did give him credit in the comic as plotter, um, story plotter. Uh, which is really great. Um, and again, please do not hate on Stan Lee. Uh, through the years, he has done everything in his power to give um, Steve Ditko the justice uh, and credit that, that he so well deserves. And of course, on the left, that's Stan Lee and Jack Kirby. And then on the right, Steve Ditko. Um, this is an incredible, uh, incredible uh, artist and creator and a wonderful man. And the fact that he took so much time to talk with me and share such incredible insight and stories um, behind the scenes of what went on. And again, watch my other videos where I can, I, I literally specifically go into detail about everything that he shared. So this is pretty much how I feel every day when I'm done working, <laughs> um, as you can see here. But uh, an incredible creator and a, a true genius. Um, again, just to reiterate, I asked him, how did you create Spider-Man? He said, ask my hand. And he holds his hand up. <laughs> um, boy, will he be sorely missed. Uh, of course, this is a very young Stan Lee and a very young Steve Ditko. And this is, again, the original handwritten note from Steve Ditko that I put in plastic to protect it. I printed out um, a little... Uh, drawing of his art that I, I put with the letter. Um, that's, that's not original art, but that is the original signature. Um, so there you go, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your lovely comments and support. Um, this has been a comic book artist, writer, and director, Greg White from beyondcomics.tv. Um, for those of you who don't know, I'm an independent comic book artist, writer, and director. And um, thank you guys so much for sharing in this. Um, boy, it's been tough to, uh, you know, ugh, I just wanted to show him my final comic and stuff. You know, not, not that he would have cared, but, you know, it was, he was so nice to me when I showed him the work that I was doing. So it would have been nice to share that final uh, book. Uh, again, for those of you who are just seeing this video for the first time, I had gotten signed by Marvel and DC Comics Distributors Diamond, who put out my, uh, my comic book. Actually, I'll show you what that, that looks like. Um, this is my new comic, uh, Gekido, 
that I drew um, is uh, co-created by Brandon Wilson and me. And um, Brandon wrote it, I drew it. Um, so I know it's, you know, this is a very different kind of looking art style, but I was so inspired by Steve and his action and his drama and his poses and, you know, some of the stuff as, as a child growing up. I just, I miss him and stuff. So anyway, guys, um, thank you so much for, for listening and watching.